it's particularly important today um, because we're being challenged more and more to deliver better work and we're at the same time being asked to do it for lower pay and if we're really going to continue to deliver the results that we we set our sights on delivering we have to invest we have to invest in talent we have to invest in research and technology in order to continue to be able to deliver that level of service and so if we're not compensated adequately we're not going to make be able to make those levels of investment one is is that we need to start having uh, compensation discussions where all the parties are involved in in the meetings um, and not have these meetings in a silo um, so when we're having discussions with marketing procurement marketing uh, client marketing should also be present in those meetings as well as the agency marketing people um, and so we're being asked to be efficient and it's really the most effective way of, of doing negotiations is if we don't have a lot of separate meetings and we, and we don't create silos um, for those meetings. Um, that's one. Um, uh, I think we need to do a lot to try to eliminate rework. Um, that's something that's really a joint responsibility um, between the agency and clients. And it's, it's trying to get clear briefs um, so we're not going off in a direction that we shouldn't be going off on. Um, it's looking at client structures and processes that may be creating inefficiencies that we need to deal with um, to make, make it again uh, more efficient and reduce uh, the amount of rework. Um, and then I think that just following up on the theme in terms of value, um, we really need to make a stronger uh, value case. Um, the irony is that agencies do such a great, great job of presenting the value case for clients' products and services. It's what we do. But yet at the same time, when we are making the value case of our services to our clients, we actually have not done a good job of that. Efficiency is something that, that we just have to, we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I don't think it's a matter of agencies have to be more efficient. I think a lot of efficiency um, is we, we need to tell our efficiency stories um, because a lot of clients don't understand the things that we do are a lot of times similar to what they're doing in terms of trying to leverage our buying power and, and create efficiencies and, and, and things like that. So I don't know that it's, you know, there's always room for improvement in efficiency. In efficiency. I, I'll say, I won't say that there's not any room um, but I think a lot of it is really that agencies, just like they don't make a good case uh, in terms of their value, agencies are not putting forward a good case in terms of the efficiencies that, that they actually uh, they drive. And I'm um, the uh, chairman of the 4A's uh, Large Agency Finance Committee. I sit on a lot of um, advertising industry committees and things, and so I actually um, speak to a lot of CFOs within the industry and the one theme that is really surprising throughout uh, is that never in our history have, uh, have people um, seen more examples of, of bad behavior. Um, client negotiations are always difficult um, but they're usually very civilized. Um, and there's just a lot of bad behavior that's occurring that I think has been pushing people forward that we're, we're, we're speaking out in terms of things like that. And I think that the divide is shown in, in that opinion survey, which I shared, um, where there's a gap not only between procurement and agencies, but between procurement and their own client marketing. Um, so, I mean, I'm hopeful that, and it's not, this is not something that uh, is true with all clients because we certainly have a lot of very good clients, um, but there, there has been an unfortunate trend and I think it's been driven um, by the recession and when people are under extreme pressure, uh, often a lot of times they unfortunately resort to extreme measures. Enhorabuena a la MAP por realizar de nuevo este encuentro internacional en el que participaron agencias de publicidad, de medios y anunciantes. El encuentro internacional AMAP 2010 
Ideas para Crecer, es parte de la cultura publicitaria aquí, en Estatus. Yeah.